Hello, and thank you for joining us for our words of encouragement today. I'm going to do something a little different uh, as I was just pondering in my own devotion time this morning. Uh, I was thinking about Psalms 84, and so I just wanted to read it to you. It happens to be my favorite psalm, uh, but there's a lot here. It says, How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty. It says, My heart soul yearns and even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for a living God. And even a sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on a pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Baca. They make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength till strength till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to me, O God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O Lord. Look with favor on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor and no good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. This morning, I don't know uh, which part it is you needed to hear. That no matter where you are or how your heart is crying out for a living God, he says, you've got a place at my altar. You've got a place where you can be near me. He says, if you trust in me, I'll give you all that I can. I'll walk with you. Maybe today you're you're stressed out and got more COVID than you know what to do with. You know, just in how are you taking care of the people you love and the people around you? You need to know that he's going to provide for you and he's going to care for you right there in the middle of that psalms. He says no matter how bad it is, that's that valley of Baca. He says, I provide everything you need. Maybe you're the one who just needs to stop. Shout a little higher. Shout the hallelujahs because you need to praise God today. I, I think when you hear this psalm and you stop and look at it, no matter where you are, you can find yourself somewhere along this journey and you can realize that walking with God serving with him may not always be easy but is always the best thing know he loves you and he's walking with you every step of the way amen and God bless mm -hmm.